So in this video, I'm going to help you understand how the menus work in Valance 3D. And shout out to the person who told me to turn on the touch gestures because you are a genius. So the menus uh, that you have in Valance 3D, and I'm about to rotate the canvas right now, but don't pay attention to the rotation. I'm literally just wanting to tell you what menu I'm talking about. This panel right over here to the right of your different options that you have, that is going to change depending on what you have selected in your scene. So you can see what I have shown right here. And all I have selected is the full object. If I were to switch that over to the face, you can see this menu has changed drastically just to those four items. If I were to select a face, notice the menu options I now have over here. If I were to go into edge select, you can see there's definitely been a change in what some of these options are here, as well as if I go into vertex select, I'm going to get a different set of options. So just know whatever you have selected in your scene is going to dictate what options you have in your panel over here. Now you notice with this panel, whatever it changes, you got these icons. And I will say for the most part, when you click on one of these icons, it's going to go ahead and take that action. And you may not be familiar with what the icon actually represents. So the developer created a really nice command guide within the tool itself. If you come down here towards the bottom right hand corner of the screen and click on this icon here, you can toggle commands and it will basically show you, hey, this is what that icon means. This is the action that it's going to take. Very helpful for over time, you'll know what they are as you're working with the software or the app. But in the beginning, definitely helpful in order to to, to have that there. In order to get rid of that menu, you have to just swipe it over to the right to get rid of it. The other menu that you have, um, based on your 3D object that you have in the scene, um, really nothing even needs to, it doesn't matter whether you have a face select or any of these things. Um, over down in the bottom right hand corner, you have this menu, your inspector. It's always going to be showing you the position relative whether to it's whether it's global or, or local orientation. Gives you the ability to shade smooth, which is definitely helpful if you're subdividing. You're able to change your base color. It will also show you any modifiers that you have applied to your 3D object. What's also nice about some of these modifiers that you can turn it on and off to see what it looks like with and without the modifier by hitting this power on and power off button. You don't have to completely remove it. So that's pretty awesome that you have that. Uh, and to get rid of that menu, you just hit the menu icon. So at any time, you can always toggle this off, toggle this on if you need to get to those settings. Then another thing that's pretty handy is that you also, it kind of follows the same rule with this, how you're only going to get some of these options depending on what you have selected. But at any time, you can also take one finger, press it down onto the screen, and you'll get a little floating menu of all of the commands that are relevant to what you can do to your object, along with more options. So you have like your control Z back, your redo, you have your home and your camera focus or your focus onto the object. Basically, every, everything that you would have had in that panel, in your inspector panel, as well as some options that you have down at the bottom to combine or subtract from your 3D object, you have all of that there, even your different selections of your 3D object. And again, this is going to change based upon what you have selected. So if I just click off of that, it'll go away. I can go into my edge select. If I press down on the screen again, I'm going to get a menu. You can see what's in that menu. If I go back out, have my whole thing selected, look, of course, that menu is going to be a lot larger. I got a lot more things in this menu than I would have if I was just in like vertex select or uh, in face select. So pretty awesome that you can just at the click of a button as you're going around and navigating, you know, manipulating your 3D object, quickly just get to one of those commands that you need. You can just bring up this little command floating. Uh, menu in order to use. That's how you understand and use the menus within Balance 3D.